Hello everyone, my name is Nimisha and my topic is monoclonal antibodies in myeloma. So what is myeloma? It is a malignancy of plasma cells. Now let me break it down for you. Inside our bone marrows, there is a factory and which manufactures WBCs, RBCs and platelets. Now, normally all this happens in a structured manner and cells are churned out. But sometimes what happens is that a particular cell called as the plasma cell overpowers the other cell lines. Now, don't get me wrong. The plasma cell is a good guy. It protects us from infections by producing antibodies. But what happens in multiple myeloma is that the plasma cell starts repeating and multiplying incessantly. So coming to the treatment of multiple myeloma, we truly hit the jackpot with something called as the monoclonal antibodies. Now, these monoclonal antibodies or MAPs have been around since 1975. And can you guess the mammal that was instrumental in its discovery? Well, that's right. It was none other than the rats. Now, that calls for a rat soap, doesn't it? How do you think rats work out? Karate. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. What are monoclonal antibodies, essentially? So, they are a clone of antibodies that are produced from a single WBC. So compare them to Naruto's multi shadow clone jutsu, and I'm sure you'll get it. So these maps truly have the Midas touch because any cancer cells that come in contact with them, they die. Now we've been discussing them a lot. So let me put in their names for you. The first is the Ratumia map, and the second is elotuzumab. Fancy names, aren't they? So how do they essentially work? Let's compare a myeloma cell to this superhero bodysuit here. Now, in order to kill the superhero, we'd have to focus all our energies on a particular blue point on this suit. Similarly, the myeloma cells have a particular receptor called the CD38, and MABs target essentially these receptors. Now, after tar targeting them, they activate signals. And these signals then go on to activate other cells and process. Now, these cells can be the natural killer cells or they can be the macrophages. They can also be processes like apoptosis or complement system. And these cells and processes, they act as middlemen and essentially lead to the death of the myeloma cells. And at voila, you're done. So something so novel, how much does it cost? In the United States, it costs around $6,500 per infusion, bringing the cost of treatment to around $1,20,000 to $1,56,000. In India, the cost is around 36,000, 24, 36, I'm sorry, 36,24,000 INR or $45,000. So it's expensive, isn't it? And there are other modalities of treatment available. So why go for MAPS? Number one, because they're specific. So the side effects would be less. Number two, they're durable. Number three, they can be combined with other modalities of treatment. So the care could be patient-centric. And number four, because they're universal. So they can be used for newly diagnosed patients, for refractory patients, and for relapse cases. So please do check them out online or in literature. And these maps, the magic bullets, they won't disappoint you. Thank you.